Hey guys, um, quick channel update. I am actually not using cases anymore. Um, I changed my mind because they're actually, they get dirty really easily. Um, so they're not really the most professional way to use money. Um, despite these two, I'm actually going to keep these two in the case because I like the case it came in. It looks, makes it look very professional. I just like that look, so I'm going to try to order another Series 1963, uh, hopefully sometime soon. I'll go ahead and show you guys some money I have, um, out of here. I'll just show you guys my collection again, real quick. Yep, I'm actually using these for now on, and I'm actually going to keep all of these open just in case, um, I, in this case I want to take them out or someone else wants to take them out. Just be gentle with it, you know, um, I don't think it'll be a problem. And just, you know, maybe smell it, because it smells like old bank. <laughs> it smells really nice, actually, because, yeah, all the way back in those old days. I mean, there are people that have touched this thing that aren't even alive anymore. So, this is definitely United States history, so I just decided I want to just kind of do something like this, you know, it's creative and stuff. So, I kind of wanted to do my own thing with this, so, um, anyways, um, enjoy the cash I have right now. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I did it so far. I have a lot of series, 1957s. I actually got a lot of them on eBay. Came with a bunch of them. And there's also like these blank thingies. I'm going to try to, I'm actually going to put the year, um, well, my mom has a lot nicer handwriting than me, so I'm actually going to ask my mom if she could do that for me. And just put like the, the, like the bill and stuff in the year, just in case it's hard to see what the year is. Yeah, but anyways, there are the backs. This is the only one with a different back. Well, um, this one doesn't have the Ingabo Trust text, but other than that, the other two are the same. Practically the same design on this one on the back, but um, it does not have the Ingabo Trust. That's the only difference. And then the backs again. Exactly the same, pretty much. This one's about uncirculated, except for that. 1995, older note too. That's pretty valuable. Guys, I'm putting my very beginning bills um, in the front here. And then when I get more bills, I'm going to put them like on the back, like after the 100 and stuff. I'm going to put more bills like this, more small bills. I'll start up with ones again. And then um, I'll keep going. Then I'll go to twos, fives, tens, twenties, and fifties and hundreds again. You know, this basically um, just shows my progress and stuff. And you just get to take out. You get to take out any bill you like. Um, people get to take out any bill you like. You know, it would be kind of a cool thing. Yeah, I think, obviously, people will be gentle with, with my bills, hopefully. Even though I can tell, they probably will still be fine no matter what. This is Star Note. And Star Note Series 2006 as well. So, Series Town 3A, Star Note, and we also got a Town 6 right there. Then it's a regular town six and it goes on. 
This one looks about uncirculated. I think it might have been used once, but that was basically it. The reason uh, how I know is because it's hard to see, but it's like a very small fold. Very small fold. Still, the condition on this is not too bad at all. It's, it's in re very reasonable shape for 2009. You almost never get as good at that for a Series 2009. This one's uncirculated completely. I know that one for a fact. This one was never used. 2009. This one is just... I don't see any flaws with this one at all. 2009 as well. This one was circulated. Some of these are in better shape than others. And then uh, 2009 again. And guys... Um, the first ones, again, will be the, the earliest ones I got, and then, um, the later ones I get, you know. You know, so I don't have to keep, um, like, shuffling these around and keep moving stuff. That's to, and that's the reason why, is to avoid that, because that's not good. Here are the backs again. Star Note again, 2013. This one looks pretty much uncirculated, just about. And not only that, it's a trinary note made up of three different numbers. While four and above is not considered a trinary note, it's not as rare as this. Pretty rare, actually. It got down to only three numbers for a serial number, and two and one, um, and the serial number, you know, the same, like the same number over and over again, or um, same two numbers over and over again, those are even harder to find. Hope to get some like that sometime if possible, even though it's probably going to be pretty much impossible to find, but you never know, I could. We'll have to see one day. There are the backs again. Alright, here's some more. Yeah, this one doesn't really want to go in that well. Look at this. This one has been folded like just crazy. I mean, it's been folded. Like, look at how many folds is on it. But, um, I really like the serial number, though. Look at that. It starts with 532 and it ends with 532 as well. The beginning and the ending is exactly the same. Three numbers. You don't see that every day, so I, I picked it up for that reason. And then this one. About uncirculated. It would probably be uncirculated if it wasn't for this really kind of annoying fold right here. I don't know why some people would do that. Because it, honestly it kind of ruins the value of it a little bit. But I guess it's still not too bad. By the way guys I got this in the mail today so... I got this um, thing for my bills, um, this booklet, whatever, for my bills today. Um, it came from Amazon, so, yeah. The star note right there. Got this one in change. That one's in circulated. And now twos, 1928D. Now 
1953A. Unfortunately, not the best of shape, though. 1953B. And hopefully you guys will be able to see the years uh, right here. Look at that. The first year of $2 bills that ever um, had the green seal on it. Series 1976. Got two others right there. Then 1995. I'll put actually another one on the back of that one. Because I... Um, I didn't have any more space. I accidentally left this one out, believe it or not. You know, we're only humans. I accidentally left this one out at first, but um, I didn't want to move all of these back, so I just I just put them in there like that. I kind of was creative with that. Here are, the, here are the three backs. The back's pretty much exactly the same for the other one, so I just, I just did that instead. Two consecutive ones. Look at that. Even though they are uh, circulated. They're actually circulated, believe it or not. But they're actually consecutive, despite being circulated. That is rather interesting, actually. Look at that. Just one serial number apart. That's pretty awesome. Tom 3A. I got a lot of Tom 3As. Uh, I already have a lot of Tom 3As. I got a lot of them over the bank. Um, look at that. Triple seven. It's pretty cool. It's an angel note, I think. I think that's what you call it. Uncirculated Series 2013. Got this over at the bank. Completely uncirculated. Don't see anything wrong with it. 1934 $5 bill. 1934D. Nineteen fifty three. Very fine shape. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, never mind. That is actually where I'm going to be putting my new 1963-5. That's the reason why I left that one blank. Because I'm going to be getting that one pretty soon, hopefully. Then we got 1969-B. 1988-A. Got this in changeover at Arby's. 1999. 2001 Star Note. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. I meant to actually show them. And I meant to actually um, start showing the backs. There they are. 2003A. Pretty rough shape. Looks like it's been through a lot. This one has two. And then two pretty much uncirculated Series 2006s without the design. Just plain Series 2006. That's pretty hard to find, actually, for $5 bills. Most Series 2006s actually have the design. That's what's interesting about this. There are the backs of them. And then a... Um, one with the design, right there. Another one with the design.
Series 2 has a 9. And 10, 13, 1. I actually, guys, I actually changed my mind this one. I went ahead and kept it because I actually forgot I gave away my my Tom 13 fives, I think. Either that or actually I might have one, but I don't know where. I actually, I think I lost one of them by accident. I think I lost one of them. There are the backs. Sadly, I think I lost one of them. And look at that. Four rare tens right here. National Currency Note, Series of 1929, Federal Reserve Bank of New York City, New York. Four signatures on it instead of two. Pretty cool. Sadly, my only national national currency note I have. Hope to get more soon. Then, 1934, a $10 bill. With the lime green design. And then, uh, two, I mean, no, uh, 1934, a Again. Look at that. Yellow seal. I think that means North African note. And then uh, blue seal, 1934. And this one actually, look at that. This one wasn't printed right. Look at that. This side's like a lot more um, fat than this side. This side's like really skinny, really, really skinny. And there are the backs. Nineteen eighty eight A. Another older note, nineteen ninety five, nineteen ninety nine. There we got another one. Two thousand and one. Two thousand and three Federal Reserve Note. Two thousand and six. Don't have any two thousand nines yet, but I hope to get one soon. Two thousand and thirteen. Look at that. That one's about uncirculated. Pretty, pretty much not uncirculated yet though, but it's about uncirculated. And then this one. And the last 10 I have right here. 1934, $20 bill. Lime green design. Then 1988A, 1993. And don't worry guys, I will get some more older notes soon. And I'll be using them, I'll be uh, putting the rest, the ones I get recently on the back. Uh, the, you know, like, um, after the hundred, which we'll be getting to soon. Nineteen ninety six Federal Reserve note. Pretty hard to find nowadays. Series nineteen ninety six. Nineteen ninety nine. Two thousand and four. Nineteen seventy seven fifty dollar bill. Very nice shape for the year. Tom thirteen on circulate fifty. Nineteen sixty six trinary note. And that one's blank because I'm not telling you yet. Series 1996. Because if I do, guys, it will spoil tomorrow's update. I want to make it a surprise, too. You know, you guys probably know it already, but oh. Well. And look at that. The last one, Series 2009, a uncirculated bill. This one's completely uncirculated. And I really, I really like the strip thingy on it. Look at that. I like the strip thingy. 
Look at how shiny it is, too. I really like the new hundreds, guys. I think they're really nice. Look at how shiny they are. And look at that. Here's the back. You could also put it up like that, too. To see, like, in fast motion what it looks like. Sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand and while recording at the same exact time. But yeah, guys, um, that's what my currency collection looks like. Um, in this booklet. I'm pretty sure they'll all be safe. I think this is actually a better idea. Because there's actually some together. It just looks really awesome, in my opinion. So, I, I had to order this. Um, came in the mail today. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to, um, feel free to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I'll maybe, uh, maybe I'll do some more videos for you guys. I mean, for, for you guys like that. Like what I just did. Yeah, sorry, I'm a little bit tired, so I'm kind of... Like, I kind of, um, I don't know, I'm, I don't know, I'm just, maybe I'm a little bit tired, but, I don't know, it's kind of hard to, I don't know, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Sometimes, um, my words kind of mess up when I'm a little bit tired. But anyways, take care guys, and I'll see you guys later.